my dear students and friends welcome to my youtube channel dr archana pandit i hope you have watched my first video uh, which was about william wordsworth's poem very famous poem my heart lifts up and now this is my second video uh, about uh, wordsworth's poem uh, which is very short a slumber did my spirit seal the text a slumber did my spirit seal i had no human fears she seemed a thing that could not feel the touch of earthly ears no motion has she now no force she neither hears nor sees rolled round in earth's diurnal course with rocks and stones and trees life and work of william wordsworth you know all that william wordsworth uh, is a great romantic poet and a nature poet he was born on april 7 1770 and he died on april 23 1850 his father was a legal representative and his mother taught him to read before he attended any school he had almost five siblings uh and he was very close to his sister dorothy wordsworth throughout his life she is also a poet um he married twice uh the first marriage took place in france when he visited france in 1791 he married a french woman annette valen and later coming back to england he married mary hutchinson he spent most of his life in the lake district of england which is famous for its scenic beauty uh, and he published his first sonnet in 1787 in the european magazine he is the founder of the romantic movement in english literature along with his very close friend st coleridge with the publication of their book the lyrical ballads in 1798 nature for him or for all the romantic poets uh, was friend philosopher guide teacher and god he became poet laureate in 1843 after the death of the poet robert southey so this was this is the information about a uh, life of a uh, famous poem poet william wordsworth uh, his most famous poems are daffodils solitary reaper table stone expostulations and reply a slumber did my spirit seal lucy gray upon westminster bridge the world is too much with us ode intimations of immortality this poem is also um, is one of the lucy poems uh, as um, is the opinion of the critics all over the world the main features of william wordsworth poems are as follows uh, he uses very simple everyday language of ordinary people uh, and uh, the depiction of nature uh, or the imagery from the nature uh, mostly uh, prevails his poetry a kind of reverence for nature is found in all his poems as i said earlier use of natural imagery is the main uh, special feature of william wordsworth poems uh, and he has projected the life of ordinary rustic people uh, and their work in their farms uh, which was not done by the earlier poetry by the neoclassical poets the intensity of emotions and feelings is one of the major feature of romantic poetry William Wordsworth poems uh, as i personally uh, it is my personal opinion that uh, they sow they have sown the seeds of the democratic thinking uh, in england uh, he has rejected uh, all the neoclassical idealism uh, and he also denied uh, the increasing urbanization and industrialization and almost he started the movement go back to nature his famous definition of poetry is spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings recollected in tranquility 
spontaneous overflow uh, means uh, the emotions which uh, arises in your minds after watching uh, something he advises all the poets that you should not write the poems at this at that time at that juncture when uh, the there is overflow of the emotions but later uh, he advises the poets you write the poetry later uh, when you uh, are in a um, silent mode or when you are uh, feeling quiet uh, and at that time that overflow might have reduced but you can recall those same emotions in your mind's eye uh, and then you are going to write the poem this was the opinion of william wordsworth uh, about uh, writing poems or poetry the difficult words from this poem uh, they are slumber uh, slumber is a kind of a short sleep uh, uh, we can say an afternoon nap the spirit is soul seal means to bind to fasten or to secure motion is movement force stands for energy strength as you all know uh, and the diurnal course it is the apparent daily motion of the celestial objects resulting from the rotation of the earth the main theme uh, of this poem is uh, living beings have worldly fears on the contrary dead people become one with nature so no human fears exist for them there are many fears in the minds of the living human beings but the most prominent fear uh, we all are afraid of death um, but after death there are no such kind of worldly fears uh, like a uh, fear of losing money uh fear of losing your fame fear of losing your property or in case of students failing such kind of fears they might not exist after the death this poem uh, is also an elegy um, lamenting the death of an unknown girl uh critics opine that this is the poem about lucy but her name is not mentioned anywhere in the poem so uh, this mysterious girl has remained a mystery till date it is also a simple lyric narrating uh, about life after death everybody is interesting interested in knowing about what happens after the death so uh, this is a glimpse what happens uh, with the human beings uh, after their death the poem is a perfect example of romantic poem depicting the imagery from the nature uh, and asserting the oneness of human beings with nature now we move towards the summary or gist of the poem uh, the poem a slumber did my spirit seal was written in 1798 and uh, it was published in the year 1800 edition of lyrical ballads the speaker says in the first two lines of the first stanza a slumber sealed his spirit a slumber sealed his spirit and he was away from all worldly fears the speaker is not dead he is talking about the girl the mysterious girl but while realizing about that girl he says i was in a slumber mm a slumber can be a glimpse of death here as death is always terms a uh, term as long sleep in literature so a nap a short sleep can stand for uh, you can say example of a death what happens after death a slumber did my spirit seal he had no worldly fears at that time he asserts over there mortals we human beings when we are alive we are always afraid of many things but the most fearful thing which remains is death for all of us but he says at that juncture there was no worldly fears in his mind but after death there remains no mortal fears Uh, as i have said earlier like loss of dear ones we are always afraid that someone uh, who is very close to my heart may die tomorrow any time and i will lose him this is the fear prevailing the minds of uh, all the people 
all over the world um, there is another fear of losing money position and fame these are the most prominent fears which i have found there are many fears uh, um, there is fear there are phobias different kinds of phobias even even insectophobia is there some kind of phobias are there but the most prominent fear uh, in the minds of the all human beings it is about death that i am going to die i have my limited time uh, in this world so everybody is afraid about the end of life in the third line she is introduced as a thing he says a slumber did my spirit sill in the text it is said that a slumber did my spirit sill i had no human fears almost this person the speaker uh, has experienced death so now he had no human fears and now he is talking about the mysterious girl she seemed a thing that could not feel the touch of earthly ears he is saying that uh, the lady uh, is as if he thinks that uh, we have the existence as a human being uh, till our death but after death uh, we are termed as a thing not as human being it reveals the fact that this identity of human being is with us till our death afterwards we are called as thing the person may die before that uh, we call that person he is ill he is admitted in the hospital but immediately the doctor declare him uh, as dead we start uh, calling him as a body or corpse this is the example within a minute within a second the human being get converted into a body or a thing in the fourth line the speaker says all the worldly limits of space and time she has crossed she has crossed all the limits of the space and time which are present for the human beings living human beings in uh, on this earth so she could not feel the touch of earthly ears limits measurements created by human beings on this earth are limited till death see these are the concepts space and time these are the concepts created by human beings for their own purpose for their own understanding for their own simplification of life but they have limits all these concepts they are with you till your death but after death all these concepts they vanish so she is a thing and she could not feel the earthly ears now because she has crossed all these limits of time and space in the second stanza the secret of the death of she is revealed now in the second stanza we come to know the readers come to know that she is no more alive it is fixed that she is dead she has lost her energy all senses she can't move after death everybody knows that we cannot move we lose our all senses sensory organs stop working after our death it means that she so she shows no signs of living beings uh the chaitanya as it is uh, said in sanskrit chaitanya stands for that liveliness which is present in all the human beings till the death but immediately after the death uh, that liveliness leaves us and our life uh, converts get converted human beings get converted into a dead body so she cannot move further he says uh she has lost all her senses uh, she cannot see she cannot listen or even uh, she cannot listen to what others are speaking she cannot see whatever is happening no motion has she now she has no any kind of energy present to do anything okay and now she is rolled round in earth's diurnal course with rocks and stones and trees she has become one with the nature this is very typical of the romantic poets see what he says the last two lines of the poem asserts 
the philosophy of the nature poets the unity and homogeneousness of human beings with the natural world critics are of the opinion that um, this is uh, one of the lucy poems but the name of lucy is not mentioned anywhere in the poem few critics opined that it is about his sister dorothy wordsworth um, as i have told you earlier uh, william wordsworth was very close to his sister but uh, other critics have argued that why the person will write about the death of the sister when she was alive so the mystery of the girl uh, is uh, prevailing till death esticolerich his best friend termed this poem as a sublime epitaph